a Reef Nutrition Care Package, and a new home for Pistol Pete. Pretty fun stuff happening here at the King Tide Corals channel. Let's get into it. What's going on reefers? My name's Blaine. This is the King Tide Corals channel. If you guys are new to this channel, I want to say thank you so much for coming by to check out the video and the channel as a whole. If you guys like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on any future uploads. In this week's episode, we're going to go over an awesome care package that we received from Chad and Reef Nutrition with some awesome foods that I haven't gotten a chance to try out from them before, and also a well-needed addition of some microfauna for the macro shorelines tank, and the King Tide Lagoon enjoyed some as well. Pistol Pete's going to get his well-needed upgrade from the mini complete tank to his forever home. You guys are going to want to stay till the end of the video to see how he ended up getting added to the tank and it worked out pretty great in my opinion and I got this idea from a past YouTube video that I had seen before. Big shout out to Remy, also thank you so much for shouting me out in your video. All of you guys that came from Remy's channel, hello and thank you so much for giving me a chance and allowing me to showcase my tanks to you guys and joining me on my reefing journey. Let's go ahead get into it and check out this Reef Nutrition Care Package. Flashback. All right, Reefers, so the box showed up today from Chad from Reef Nutrition. I wanna give a big shout out to Reef Nutrition for sending me out this care package. After doing the live with Chad, he was kind enough to ask me if I wanted to grab any of their products. And of course, I had a couple that were on my mind. So he said he was gonna send me out a sweet care package and here it is. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into it and check out what we ended up grabbing. Right off the bat, you see they have some really cool product information sheets about all their different products that they have. This is really cool, something I'm gonna definitely have to take a look at a little sooner. And then nice, really cool Reef Hobbyist magazine. This is gonna be really cool to check out and get a better look at. Some really cool stuff. I'm really glad they ended up tossing this in here. Right off the bat, looks like we got some cold ice packs. Normally you'd see in a reef package heat packs, but because this is refrigerated stuff, I see that they packed up some dry ice into singular packs and everything's really cold still, so that's a really good sign. Right on the top, some TDO Chroma Boost. This stuff is awesome. It's a pellet food that I've been using for a long time. I actually use a smaller variety in my reef tank because I know the Hawaiian cleaner is such a small mouth and the Hawaiian cleaner does enjoy this stuff. So thanks again, Reef Nutrition for that. And then also a t-shirt, really excited about that. And oh my goodness, check out all the goodies. We got all kinds of different stuff from them. We got some Oyster Feast. I needed to re-up on this. Oyster Feast here, we got some Mises Feast. We got some Fido Feast as well, live. I was really excited about this product, one I'll definitely go over in the future. Some Tigger Feast, which is really cool. This is their Tigger Pods, which is made into one of their mix of their foods. We got some live Tigger Pods here. You can see all of them that are just inside that bottle. Pretty crazy how well they pack these bottles up. I mean, you guys can tell tons and tons of Tigger Pods inside there. Looks like he ended up actually hooking me up with two bottles of the Tigger Pods, which is awesome. That's gonna be great. And then also some Apex Pods. These are their pods they use for all kinds of different reasons, but I really like them because they're great for cycling tanks and getting a pod population up and running. So Apex Pods, that's awesome too. Two of those, man, I will say I got an awesome haul from Reef Nutrition. Thanks so much, Chad. I really appreciate it. I really enjoyed our live. If you guys haven't gotten a chance to go ahead and check out the live stream I did with Chad from Reef Nutrition, go ahead and check out it on my Instagram. It was a really fun time. I learned a ton about Reef Nutrition in general and the company as a whole. Chad is pretty much the Copa God. We've labeled him as that. Inappropriate Reefer had said it earlier and I am sticking to that as well. I wanna give a big shout out to Reef Nutrition in general though. Thank you so much for sending me this awesome care package. And it's gonna be really great to be able to kickstart that macro shorelines tank and get a little cleanup crew going with the pod population. So thanks so much Reef Nutrition, really appreciate it and can't wait to use this stuff. Thank you. 
One product I'm really excited to have here is the Apex Pods from Reef Nutrition. It's going to be a really great thing to add to the Macro Shorelines tank and I'm really excited to get them in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get them floating in the tank to get them up to the temperature and get all of them awake and ready to go and then I'm going to add this bottle into the tank and kickstart that little microfauna and that mini cleanup crew that's going to be really great for all the microalgae that's starting to grow on the rocks. So let's go ahead and get these guys acclimated. 10 seconds later. All right, guys, we got our pods here. We're going to go ahead and get them into the tank. So I'm just going to go ahead and set them right over here. Just let them start floating there in the tank so I can get them up to the right temperature. Once it's acclimated and the bottle feels about the same temperature as the tank, I'm going to go ahead, release the pods into the tank and let them start enjoying their new life in the Macro Shorelines tank. 15 minutes later. All right, reefers. So looking at the Macro Shorelines tank, we have the Apex pods that have been sitting in here for a bit of time. If you guys take a closer look, you can get a better idea of what's going on inside this bottle. You can see all the crazy movement right there. It's really exciting to see some microfauna that's gonna get added to this tank. Overall though, this tank really needed some pods to be added. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this Apex bottle in from Reef Nutrition into the tank. All right guys, I wanna to talk to you real quick about cleanup crew that I ended up choosing for the Macro Shorelines tank. And I ended up realizing I needed the cleanup crew because I was seeing a little bit of uglies and nuisance algae starting to poke up. And I think that had a lot to do with the light was running at a full intensity. I didn't have a dimmer just set on it yet. And once I got the dimmer on it, I think it helped the tank entirely. The macro seemed a lot happier and also the nuisance algae kind of slowed down in its growth, but I still needed to recruit a cleanup crew. So I went to my local fish store. I ended up picking up two Astraea snails and two Sarah snails, but it had kind of gone a little too far at that point. So I recruited two of my trochus snails from the lagoon and with those kind of six snails inside this macro shorelines tank, I think they'll be able to handle all of the uglies and the nuisance algae. And I've seen great improvement in just the past week. So it's really looking in the bright direction. And also with the reef nutrition copepods that I'm adding as well, will be a really good addition to the microfauna and the cleanup crew entirely. So we'll go ahead and give you guys a quick look at what kind of snails I ended up picking up for the cleanup crew. As mentioned before, Pistol Pete is sooner or later going to need an upgrade and I've been starting to think that having the two tanks right here is getting a little cumbersome and I don't really like the look of it. I think that the mini complete tank will be a good little tank for maybe the office or something like that in the house. So I've decided I'm going to shut down the mini complete for the time being and I'm going to make Pistol Pete's move over here to the macro shoreline. So I'm going to tell you guys a quick little story. Here in the back, you guys can see I have a cover on my ETO sensor. So what ended up happening was I was coming by the room just to see how everything was doing. And of course, a snail was covering the ATO sensor. I've talked about this in one of my past videos. And honestly, it's something that keeps reoccurring in all of my reef tanks. So what I ended up having to do was I had to take a Tupperware bin, cut it from the side, and then hook it up to the back of the tank so that I could then have the ATO sensor in the water. It's becoming kind of a pain for me and something that's reoccurred more than once. I have one of my friends, Harley from PNW Customs, working on getting a little snail cover made for the tank so it's not so cumbersome, it doesn't look so ugly. But for the time being, that's gonna be in the tank for now. And we're gonna go ahead and work on getting this tank shut down, getting Pistol Pete into a little container and getting him acclimated to his new tank.
The mini complete tank is shut down. It's set aside for the time being until I can get to cleaning it. But for right now, we're gonna focus on getting Pistol Pete acclimated to his new tank. You guys can see him here in this little piece of Tupperware I have set aside. And then I also have a drip line that I have in the tank that's gonna be going to him so that we can get him to the proper salinity level. I'm really excited to get this little guy into the aquarium. You guys can tell, you know, his colors are really awesome. It's gonna be a really nice addition to the tank. And I think overall, it's gonna be nice to add a new little invert to the system. I'm gonna shoot for trying to get him to make a burrow somewhere here in the front so that way we can enjoy seeing him every single day. Of course, that's nature and it's not probably gonna happen the way we hope, but for now, we're gonna shoot for trying to get Pistol Pete over here in the front of the tank, but let's go ahead, get this drip line started and get this guy acclimated. All right, reefers, the drip acclimation is started. I'm really excited to get Pistol Pete moved into his new tank. It's well-deserved for the little guy. And I'm also go ahead and doing a really slow drip acclimation. So that way there's no huge swings in salinity in his little holding container from the macro shorelines tank. But I think it's gonna be good, especially for inverts to take your time with any drip acclimation or acclimation process in general. I'm really excited to get him moved over. It's gonna be a really cool addition to the macro tank, but we're gonna go ahead and give him about 30 minutes of a drip. So that way he gets all set up and ready to go to move into his new tank. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. A few moments later. All right, so it's been 30 minutes since I've gotten the pistol shrimp all drip acclimated for the macro shorelines tank. I'm gonna go ahead and try out something I've never done before. I saw it on a video of Melev's Reef. He had used an acrylic tube to send skunk clowns down into an enemy. Um, it was actually really cool and ended up kind of working out for him. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and attempt utilizing this tube right here and send the pistol shrimp down into this area right here, this front area right there. So we're gonna go ahead and work on doing that. We'll see how it goes. Of course, I'll probably end up missing and he'll end up falling back into the back side of the tank, but we'll go ahead and give it a try and let's see how it goes. Go ahead and work on getting the pistol shrimp up and out and then into this too. I don't know how this is gonna work. I've never tried this before, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot because I'm gonna try and get this guy so he's up front and that way I don't miss out on seeing him throughout the day. Let's go ahead and snag this guy. Okay, so we got the pistol shrimp here. It's gonna be kind of hard to see him, but he is in this little tube right here. I'm gonna go ahead and push this back so I don't pour any water onto it. Probably gonna miss, but we'll see if this works out. All right, here we go. Oh, down he goes. He's inside the tube right now. Okay, he's just made his way out. And he's gone underneath the rock, actually right kind of where I was hoping for. So that actually worked out really well. I ended up getting him to go right here in the front. He uh, ended up spitting out and he's right underneath. It's probably kind of hard to see him now, but we're gonna go and give him a little bit of time, let him settle in and hopefully he'll start poking his head out. All right, Reefers, that's it for this week's episode. I'm really excited we finally added some livestock to the Macro Shorelines tank. I know it's just pods, snails, and Pistol Pete, but it's really great to finally see some life inside that tank. I haven't seen Pistol Pete that much, but I know he's having a blast in his new tank because there's burrows all over the front of the tank. And once I'm able to get a little clip of him, I'll definitely be able to give you guys an update of what's going on with Pistol Pete. If you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe if you guys haven't done so, and we'll see you next week.